hi guys how are you welcome back to our channel long time ago i know we haven't currently filmed anything for thai but today was the day we needed something with vitamin you know what i mean something with a meaning for us and for you guys and this is a great video to show you what we have inside i'm Liv. i'm me and oh my gosh i just forgot how to say hello but in thai and you have to Swadika, 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 Okay, that isn't what I think. I think loves, love keeps bringing your life again and again. When you don't, when you feel like you want to die, love brings you back to life. That's what I think. Personal choice. I swear the Bible says that a deadly thing is a sin. Okay, I can see he lost something that makes him feel alone. We have to, we're about to figure out what's going on. Yes, I'm figuring out now what's going on. Yeah. So, I really know that a lot of Thai people have that, you know, something inside that is called, you know, love for, great, great, great love for the loved ones. And, you know, God promises that a time that he will actually swallow up the dead and forever remove it. He must eliminate it because it's, it's what sin causes and God will do everything in his hands to wash away everything that this thing called death causes. So, Jesus Christ came to take away the sin from the world and actually the dead too. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah. That's, that was... That's, oh. I, I love that moment that he said, embrace the moment. Because <sighs> that's, you know, that person that always embraces you, that's, that's life. It's very, actually a gift. A, love, a, a gift of God to have someone that always embraces you in your hard moment. Yeah. We always, we all know that, like, there are a lot of people, you know, oh my gosh, that was so, that have lost someone yeah. in that, you know, it's normal to feel sorrow, loneliness, mm -hmm. um, helplessness, perhaps guilt and fear, Yeah. right? It's normal. All those feelings, they're normal to feel. Yeah. That thing means that you love, the, you, you love the person so much and... That doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you weak. No. It just shows that you grieve. Yeah. Yes, you're grieving. You have your time, and you love the person and didn't want to separate from that person. But what can you do? How can you do to cope with moments like this? If you find yourself in this type of situation that we all have found ourselves in, this type of situation, Pressed. unfortunately. Give yourself time to grieve. It's no more. It's tell, normal. Tell others what you think and what you feel. Express really what you feel inside your heart. Bring it out. Bring it out. Don't listen to those who tell you you're complaining too much. No. We don't care. We don't care. Complain everything you need and more. Accept help. Accept help. It's very important. And draw closer to God. Draw closer to Him because in your worst moments, in your worst moment, the person that will deal with you is Him. He will comfort you. And help you. You will heal. You will see his hands, really, really. I promise you, you will. You will. You will. A picture of time when God is right to that person. Imagine being able to see that person once again. It's not an imagination. It's not a dream. It's a reality that we come through. I promise you. I don't promise. Bible promises you, but I promise you through the scriptures. My God, you give your like it. I like this one. She seems like a friend. Yeah. Oh, are you crying or something? No. You think, no. Okay, your eyes are like. I'm not crying. No. My eyes are so crystal because, you know, it's a reflection of what's going around in all families. There's a lot going around and we're all sor sorrows. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. Mm. You understand. You understand. Yeah, this is love. But love sometimes comes with grief and, you know, overcome. I'm That's coming this grief is sadly what hard. right now what is like this the world is like this painful. actually you can it's painful yeah. you can't do much to you know change situations yeah. you have to cope with them you have to be strong mm -hmm. you have to be strong very strong you have to surround yourself with the ones who really love you yes who really not just to say your mouth who really proves it Yes.
Yeah, how grateful we are that one time that someone living is gonna come back to you in flesh and bone. That's that is a spectacular. That is amazing. That is amazing. Yes. Okay, let's read Act 24, 15, what it says. It says, there is going to be a resurrection. Yes. And I have hope toward God, which hope this, which hope, which hope, this man also look forward to, that there is going to be a resurrection of both the righteous and the unrighteous. Yeah. God promised to bring back to life countless people who have died and he yearns to do so. So what you can do through thunders and storms, through all the situations, seek God, seek help and continue going on. Yeah. Because there's going to be a great gift and a great hope. Yeah. I know a lot of you there in Thailand have this hope too. Our greetings to all of you and continue. And all your hearts. <laughs> See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.